Oh, this is just a little impromptu video. This is actually take two. Because, man, now that I'm not doing a bunch of work that I want to do right in front of me, I keep losing stuff. I had to come back to the place where I originally filmed this video because uh, I lost my headphones. Also, the place on I was I've, I just spent sun up to, I don't know, about 7.30 here at Craig Road and... Claremont. Well, I'm really burned out. It was a lot. I stood in the street. I danced. I held up signage that linked to my YouTube video, my speech at City Hall, but also this believe sign. The believe sign was the fun part because I wanted people to just look at me. I just wanted them to wave and say hello. That's all I did is I danced. I made a big fool of myself and I waved at people and I looked them in the eye. And I don't know what happened recently where I'm thinking so clearly and I'm able to look people in the eye, but it's damn near a superpower. It's not quite ESP, but when you really look at somebody and you ask them simple questions from the heart, you kind of see the truth really quickly. You know what I mean? It's uh, when you're in the store and you see some kind of ugliness and you just know, you understand what you're seeing. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can judge a book by its cover, not all the time. Most things are not all the time or none of the time. That's one thing I've learned. But, yeah, the main point of this video is two parts. One, I want to say that based on this experience, A, well, everybody has dash cams now, so maybe I'm about to get a lot of attention. Finally, kind of what I've been trying to do based on the City Hall speech for a particular issue. But more importantly, now that I'm able to look at people properly, there's a lot of very miserable people. It's enough to make me cry, like for real, for real cry earlier. Not here dictating my experience to you. You know, I'm not gonna be disingenuous or try to experience feelings that have passed or are more internalized, but wow, so many people, they're just, they're just miserable. They can't stop to go, maybe this guy isn't busking for $20 to go get meth or whatever or heroin. Heroin was my thing a long time ago. I got clean in 2011. It's been a long time, but I understand that too. But now I'm doing a political statement, I guess, or a, a lifestyle choice or something, making a lot of noise or trying to, and people just really don't want to look at the homeless. They really think they are all just ugly, stupid grifters and when you get down on the street they're like they say america's brain drain is going overseas it's not it's on the street talk to these people like for real when they're not all strung out or whatever and you'll quickly discover that honestly they might be smarter than you but they're stuck at the bottom of a system a system that's broken the other point of this video is that I know that I'm starting to get attention and I know that in my original video at City Hall, I put in details for funds and stuff. I have started to kind of half wake up some homeless where they're asking me for help. So I would definitely use any funding for anything that's right in front of me that's an easily solvable problem outside of the system. But also me personally, I don't know, something about trying to write this living story or whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, you know, I lose stuff. Things been stolen. Things have been asked for. And if I didn't really need it, I've given it away. But also, wow, I could really use like not church pavement to sleep on or parking garages or illegal encampments. I don't know, this is a lot of work and I'm just waiting for someone to notice and go, wow, maybe this guy's the real deal. But I will put those details on the YouTube version of this video in the description. So if you wanna help out, I'm not gonna lie to you, I might go buy a nice bag of underwear. I might get some fresh kicks. Man, these donor flip-flops are all right, but they're small. 
a lot of my stuff is small or under equipped again like I said I've been giving a lot of it away where I don't need it and I've just been following my nose looking for the problems so you know what this is probably a lot better of a format than walking around and soapboxing on every single Eau Claire resident that I can find which has been an interesting experience but like I said it's a little too much shock and awe. A lot of people are not ready for someone to look them in the eye and ask them direct questions or go, how do you feel about this? Man, we just can't do that anymore collectively. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who are watching this going, I can do that. Yeah, probably to some extent. But for most of you, when you're faced with something that you're not ready for or don't understand or don't want to process or isn't in your corner, doesn't fall under your group or label, you just don't look. And that's not living. Living is other people, not just your people. It's all the people. Anyways, I think that's enough for now. But a lot of thoughts rattling around in this brain right now. And I hope I can start to reach some people and have them go, wow, this is the wokest homeless guy I've ever seen. Yes. Yes. I am not manic, I am not crazy. But maybe I got a gift or something recently. And now I'm trying to use it to eat the biggest elephant in the room, which is maybe something that I've always tried to do. And now that I'm just open to expressing and experiencing that, that's what I'm trying to do. And if this fails, I don't know, maybe I can send all this stuff to like a talent agency and go act because I can I can dance in intersections now, baby. None of this is, none of this scares me anymore. But the people do. I thank you for watching. If this is on X, you know, share it, maybe. Or share the City Hall video. That one's even better. Uh, if this is on YouTube, again, details in the description. If you want to actually help. And I don't know, let's rally together to get them to stop wasting more tax dollars than they need to spend for America's mental health crisis. Specifically for those experiencing relational poverty. Like, comment, subscribe. Really, you're telling other people you like the video. You're leaving your feedback, which I will read. And you're saying, I want to hear more from this guy. If you do those three things, I greatly appreciate it. It's the point. God bless you. God bless America. God bless every single human on the planet. Have a good day.